Hello YouTubers. I've got a friend that uh, wants to edit his race footage using his Contour HD helmet camera and he wants to learn how to do that in Windows Live Movie Maker for Windows 7. So I'm putting this together for him. Shout out to Mo. So what we're going to do is import a video under the Home tab here. Add videos and photos. Select the file that you want to import. And there it is. I'll hit open. And it will probably take a few moments to convert. I've already uh, converted it actually, so that's why it was instant for me here. But once it's converted, you'll see the clip over here on the right side and the preview pane here. If you hover the mouse over this dividing line here in the middle and then left click and hold it, you can resize if you've got a lot of clips and you want to be able to see them, access them easily or in this case only have one clip so I like to see a big preview and what we're going to do today is I'm going to show him how to cut out the parts of the video that he does not want to keep and let's say he has a dirty word in his video that he wants to actually keep the video portion of the where the dirty word occurs but he wants to bleep out or simply mute the audio the video continues seam seamlessly, you just don't hear the bad word. So that's what we're going to do today. So what you can do is hit play here to preview the video. This is seven and a half minutes long. I'm not going to do that for this uh, particular tutorial. Or you can grab this little bar here with your left mouse and uh, preview it that way, like so. And uh, I'm going to find the spot that I want to edit here and we'll be right back and we're back I've previewed the video up to the point where I want to select a small portion of this video and keep it and I want to delete the rest so this is where you know the point where I want to start keeping the video so we'll go up to the edit edit tab here I select split and you'll notice on the right side what used to be one clip is now two this clip here is everything from this point to the beginning of the video and this clip is everything from this point to the end of the video I don't want to keep the beginning so I will right click on it and select remove simple as that then I will preview through the video here the portion that I want to keep and believe it or not, I have a very fast computer. It's just that I'm recording the screen with another piece of software, and you know it makes it kind of sluggish. Okay, and we'll get right about to where we want to stop. That's good enough. I'll hit split again, and I'm only concerned with keeping the the beginning portion here so I'll right click and remove the end part there so now what I'm left with is a 15 second clip and there is a dirty word in here and I'm going to show you how to mute that particular portion of it so what I need to, need to do is preview the video until I right when I hear the dirty word and then I'll have to use this little dealio right here and back it up just ever so slightly see I think it's right about there's where I say it so I'll back it up just a little bit and you'll have to play so that you can actually hear the clip and pay attention to the timer here and like say if I hear the dirty word at the 10 second mark I'll know that I need to back the clip up to about the 9 second mark and then I will split it let me fine tune it here okay so I've determined that the beginning of the dirty word is at uh, approximately 10.25 and it's over at approximately 11 seconds in so at the beginning of the uh, particular verbiage in question we'll hit split alright and as you can see of course it created a second clip there what I want to do is bring this forward to about the 11 second mark pay attention right here Take that up to about 11, right about there or so, and then we'll hit split again. Now we've got three clips. 
and what we want to do is mute this middle clip here so we'll select it and uh, I'll you know again under the edit tab over here on the left you'll see video volume click on that and move the slider all the way to the left okay and that's pretty much it and we can preview that to make sure that it is in fact muted and I'm sure it is okay so the you know you could uh, actually save the video at this point you've got audio and then no audio and then audio completed clip with the bad word gone now if I wanted to uh, you know, maybe put a little color in the video I can uh, import some audio like a censored bleep like you would see on uh, America's Funniest Home Videos or something so to do that we need to import whatever sound file we're looking for and we'll go to uh, the home tab and add music All right, and I happen to have some a couple of sound effects here and these are some censored beeps got one that's a quarter of a second and this is about three quarters of a second, so we'll select the one second wave there. Open that. And you'll notice that it, it put the beep at the very beginning of the video. I thought it would put it where I wanted it, but it didn't. But it's no problem. Just left click and grab it. Move it to the beginning of the clip that you want. And you can see that it actually runs into the third clip a little bit here but that's okay it doesn't matter if it bleeds over into this by a tenth of a second uh, don't really care about that for this particular video now let's say the the beep sound is like too loud and actually it sort of is so what we'll do is double click on it and that uh, brings up the music tools and go, again go over to the music volume and now you can tone it down a bit let's preview it all right, that sounds a little better than it was. It was really loud before. So at that point, uh, I've finished what I wanted to do. I've got I got a clip with a bad word that I've muted out, put a censored beep in for a little comedy relief there, and I'm ready to save the video. So I'll click on the Home tab, <clears throat> go to Save Movie, and... I happen to have a custom setting because my camera records in 720p. Uh, if, if your video is say 960 or even 1080, if it was 1080 you would just choose right here, high definition display. If it's a 960 then you're going to need to make probably a custom setting. At the bottom here you would click create custom settings and you can of course fill out the info as needed. Uh, bit rate, a good one is for YouTube is 8,000. Frame rate, keep that at, at 30 frames per second. If, if it's anything other than that, change it to 30, okay? And then you can give it a name like 960 or whatever you want. Audio format, uh, what I have here is kind of standard MP3 quality. It's good enough. But I've already got one set up, so save movie, 720p, and then... Uh, you know you'll have to give it a name and I'll call it uh, bleep underscore test from O there and you'll need to browse for where you want to save it and this is a good, good enough spot for me so click on save and it will do its thing and then we'll watch the completed video here at the end of this tutorial thanks for watching